this package contains my copy of Clockwork and Cthulhu. And I'm filming this not because this is, once again, a print-on-demand copy from DriveThru. I think we've seen enough of those to assess the different ranges of options or experiences you might have. But because somebody along the way decided to tie this string incredibly tightly around the package. So let's see what effect, if any, this had on the product contained within. Alright, so we can see the indentation on this side. Not as bad, just wrinkled on this side. The corners have definitely taken a beating. So let's see the condition of the book. So far, still in the package, the spine looks flawless in that evil woodwork Cthulhu brown. And here it is. There seems to be no physical damage to the sharp corners or spine, even though it was under tremendous pressure. Now, does the book lie flat? This is, of course, our litmus test for quality from Lightning Source via DriveThru RPG, and you can see that it doesn't. But I can tell you from experience, packed on a tight shelf, it soon will. This game is a, well, it's an addition for Renaissance Deluxe so that you can play or you can add the Mythos to your Clockwork game. Now they have done Clockwork and Chivalry and this takes that idea a little further, taking it into the Lovecraftian inspired Supernatural. It's 1645 and the stars are right. Inside, as outside, Clockwork and Cthulhu maintains a consistent theme with the other Renaissance Deluxe and Clockwork and Chivalry uh, products that Cake Bread and Walton have produced. We have the same watermarked uh, gray parchment color, which stirs up that, that sense of time and age and a very interesting art scattered throughout. Now, this is not a full bleed product, so you'll note that the blackness doesn't go up to the edge of the page, but due to the style chosen, this isn't as big a deal as it is when you come to an all black page, where you have this distinct margin. So I don't consider this to be a weakness of this particular product, but for other products that capitalize on a lot of black or light print on dark pages, this type of print-on-demand, you could say is not very satisfying. But for this product, it works just fine. Much of the book is simply text. However, as you begin to leaf through it in sections such as the bestiary, and in, of course, the included adventures, there is a good deal of art. Now you can hear this. Stiff pages in places. The paper is relatively thick. What you can see here, hopefully, Despite the quality, you may be viewing it on YouTube. You see a good map, and then behind it, this page has a watermark, an alchemical watermark. When you turn the page, there's no bleed through from the other side. This side has its own watermark. So the page quality is quite good, especially compared to some that we, are, we have taken a look at in the last few months. Part of that, I'm sure, is this gray shading to the page. So, Clockwork and Cthulhu, horror role-playing in the world of Clockwork and Chivalry. 
using the Renaissance Deluxe rule set by Cake Bread and Walton.